Welcome to WQLN PBS Homeroom. My name is Miss Valerie, and I am so glad that you are here with me today. I love to teach, and one of the things that I love to teach children about is I love to teach children how to take care of our world. This week, we are talking about the ocean, and I brought along one of my favorite ocean animals. Do you know what she is? Yeah, she's a turtle. She's a sea turtle, a green sea turtle. Right, and they are one of my favorites. And her name's Gracie. Can you say hi, Gracie? Hello. Well, Gracie is a green sea turtle and she is going to tell us some things about her life. Is that okay with you, Gracie? Yes. Well, Gracie, I was wondering I noticed when I found you that you were headed somewhere. Where were you headed? Well, I was going back to the beach where I was born. Oh, so you were going to the beach. I love to go to the beach. How about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you been there? You, you said you were born there? Yes. So turtles are born on a beach? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, why were you going there? Well, because I'm going to be a mother. A mother? Oh, that's wonderful, Gracie. Wow, well, what do you have to do to become a mother? Well, I have to lay my eggs. You have to lay your eggs. Oh, so turtles lay eggs. Yes. Oh, like birds lay eggs. Yes. Oh, so you lay eggs, and how, do, how does that happen? Like you do that on the beach? Yes. Well, I'll go and I'll dig a nest in the sand. Oh, you dig your nest in the sand. Hmm. They don't make their nests in trees like birds. Hmm. Right. And then what do you do? Oh, I dig the nest with my hind flippers. Your hind flippers? Where are your hind flippers? They're my back legs. Oh, can I show the kids? Yes. These are Gracie's hind flippers, her back flippers. So she, you dig the nest with your back flippers. Yes, and I dig a big hole and then I lay 100 eggs. 100 eggs? Wow, that's a lot of babies. Yes. Wow, I did not know you laid that many eggs. Well, and then what happens? Do you sit on them like a bird? No, I just cover them up with sand. Oh, so you, how do you do that? I use my flippers. You use your flippers and you cover them up with sand. And then what do you do? Do you sit on them then? No, then I just go back to the sea. You go back to the sea? Well, how do the eggs stay warm? Well, the sun and sand warm them. Oh, so the sun and the sand keep them warm. Yes. Oh, wow, okay, so there's a hundred eggs and the sun and the sand keep them warm. And then do you come back? No, I just go off to the sea and hope they survive. Wow, okay. Is that how you were born? Yes, that's what my mother did too. Wow, so tell me what happens to the eggs after you leave them? Well, after about two months, they hatch. Oh, and they're down in the sand? Yes. And what do they have to do then if they hatch? Well, the little hatchlings, the baby turtles, have to dig their way out of the sand. Wow, so they have to dig their way out. They wait until nighttime. Oh, so they do it at nighttime. Yes, so they'll be safer. And then what do they do? They run like crazy. They run like crazy? Where do they run to? They run to the water. Oh, they follow the moon. Oh, they follow the moon. The light of the moon? Yes. So they follow the light of the moon. They run like crazy. Why do they run like crazy? To keep away from predators. <gasps> P 
predators. Yes, like crabs and seabirds that try to eat them. Oh goodness, poor babies. They have to run really fast. You must have run really fast. Yes, I did. So then once you got to the water, what did you do? Well, I found some seaweed floating in the water and I just hid in the seaweed. Oh, so you hid in the seaweed. Yes. And did you stay there for a long time? Yes, I floated in the seaweed. And then what did you eat? Well, when I got hungry, I just ate some of the seaweed. Oh, well that was handy. You were right there in the seaweed and then you could just eat some. Yes. Wow, and so then what did you do? Well, I just ate and grew and swam a long, long way. Wow, in the water. Okay, and did you go back to the beach? Not yet, but I'm headed there. Wait, you've never been back to the beach? Nope. Wow, well how do you know get to how to get there? Oh, my instincts will tell me. Your instincts? Yes. What are instincts? Well, instincts are a feeling of just knowing that animals have and it helps them know what to do to survive. Oh, so instincts are a feeling that help you know what to do to survive. You just know it. Yes. Okay, so then you'll know how to get back to your, to your beach? Yes. Well, how long have you been gone? Oh, about 25 or 30 years. 25 or 30 years? Wow, that's a long time. Yes, but it's time. Oh, okay. So then you'll lay your eggs in a nest on the beach and then you'll leave. Yes, and every year I'll come back and lay some more. Oh, and you just leave the eggs. Yes, it's the turtle way. The turtle way. Wow, that is pretty interesting. Well, I have to go. I have to be on my way. Okay. Well, can you say goodbye to the boys and girls? Sure. Goodbye. Can you say goodbye to Gracie? She's on her way. She's going to go lay her eggs. So we learned that Gracie and other sea turtles lay over a hundred eggs. Now I didn't have any turtle eggs, but I did have some plastic eggs and I put a hundred of them in this box. That is a lot of eggs, isn't it? Wow, can you imagine? And I also found a few ping pong balls. Remember her eggs were about the size of a ping pong ball. That is a ping pong ball. So they're actually a little smaller than my plastic eggs. But um, in a nest of 100 eggs, usually only about three baby turtles survive. Now some of that is due to natural predators like crabs and seabirds and things like that, and sharks and different dangers that they have to face. But part of it is because of humans. Humans pollute the ocean and cause a lot of problems for sea turtles. One of the things that, that happens is sometimes plastic bags end up in the ocean like this and turtles think they're jellyfish and they try to eat them or they get tangled in them or sometimes those little rings that go on, on soda cans or pop cans or water bottles, those get caught on turtles' bodies, straws get left in the ocean, all kinds of plastic gets left in the ocean and it's dangerous for sea turtles and other animals. Some things that you can do to help are instead of using these kind of bags, talk to your parents about using reusable shopping bags like these. These are a lot more fun to use. They're colorful and they're sturdy and they don't break easily. Or you can even find places where you can make um, pictures and order bags like that. But they have these like at most grocery stores and you can just you can just buy them and then use them every time you go. You just keep them in your car. Or instead of using water bottles like these, get a reusable water bottle and fill it up and take it with you. That's another thing you could do. Instead of using plastic straws, 
either don't use a straw or use a reusable straw like this. Those are things that you can help to save turtles. Let's learn a little bit more about the turtle life cycle over in my sandbox. Let's go, come on. Welcome to my sandbox. I set up a little scene in the sandbox so that we could see how the sea turtle goes through her life cycle. Sea turtle's life cycle is amazing. They can live to be over a hundred years old. So when a female, a girl sea turtle, is about 30, she comes swimming back to the beach where she was born. And she climbs up onto the beach where she was born. She remembers that for 30 years and comes back to that same beach. She uses her back flippers to dig a hole so that she can lay her eggs. She finds a safe spot, she digs that hole, and then she lays her eggs. I have a model of the nest of eggs to show you. So she'll lay over a hundred ping pong ball sized eggs in that nest with soft leathery shells. And then she buries that nest in the sand so that it will be hidden from predators that might try to eat her eggs. And then she goes off and swims back into the ocean and leaves her nest hoping her babies will hatch and survive. Well, after about two months, the eggs start to hatch. They're way down under the sand. And it took, takes them a couple of days to all hatch. They all hatch at about the same time. And then they start to dig their way out of that nest. They dig their way out of the nest. And then they have to wait until nighttime when it's safer. And those little hatchlings, those baby turtles, will run like crazy over to the water because there are lots of enemies that will try to eat them, like bird, seabirds and crabs. And they swim along in the water and they'll find a little patch of seaweed to hide in so they can camouflage themselves. You can hardly see him. Oh, he's hiding in there. And it's a good place for him to rest because the seaweed floats along and he can float along in the seaweed and if he gets hungry, he can even have a little snack. Look at him in there. The seaweed. Yeah. And if he gets hungry, he has something to eat. He can eat the seaweed. So after a, a while, that little hatchling grows bigger. It grows bigger. And bigger. And after a long time, if it is a female, a girl, after 30 years, she swims all around the ocean and then she comes back to that same beach where she was born. She remembers and she comes back and guess what she does? She lays her own nest of eggs. That's right. She will dig a hole and she'll lay her eggs and then she'll bury them in the sand just like her mother did before her. And then off she'll go and swim away, hoping her eggs will hatch and survive. Isn't that amazing? So the sea turtle's life cycle goes like this. The eggs, and then the eggs hatch, and then the little hatchlings run to the water and hide in seaweed, and then they get a little bit bigger, and bigger still until 
they become that adult sea turtle, 30 years old, who can come back and start the life cycle all over again. A life cycle is what an animal or a person or a living thing, even plants have life cycles. That's what happens and it kind of goes in a circle. It kind of goes in a circle. So it's what happens each time how the babies are born and then how they grow and then have their own babies. Isn't that amazing? It's almost like a circle. It's almost like a circle. The eggs, then the hatchlings, and then the hatchlings run to the water and then they grow bigger and bigger until they are an adult sea turtle and they can lay their own eggs and start that cycle all over again. Isn't that amazing? I brought a great book for us to read today. It is called, Gracie Green Turtle Finds Her Beach. And my Gracie is named after the turtle in this book. And it's written by Paul J. Myla. And there are photographs to tell the story in this book. Gracie Green Turtle Finds Her Beach. Gracie Green Turtle swam to the beach where she was born more than 25 years ago to dig a nest in the sand and lay her eggs. Finally, I'm here, back to the beach where I was born. Just like our Gracie. Gracie needed a flat, clean beach to dig her nest. But when she looked, most of the beach was gone. Gracie could not climb onto the beach because erosion had created a high sand cliff. So she swam to another beach. Erosion? Hmm. It says here, erosion means the sand was worn away by strong waves and high tides caused by a warming climate. Oh, this climate change makes storms and hurricanes more powerful and raises sea levels by melting the ice in the glaciers. Wow. That doesn't look like she could get up that beach. The next beach was covered by a thick type of seaweed called sargassum weed, which could trap baby turtles and stop them from reaching the sea. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look like a place a sea turtle could get through. And there's even litter in the weeds too. Oh dear. Gracie tried a third beach, but it was full of trash and plastic that people threw into the ocean or left on the beach. And plastic waste, plastic garbage, can kill sea turtles and other sea life. Oh no, she can't have her babies go there. Oh dear, we should keep our beaches clean. Gracie kept searching for a good beach. Where could she go? She knew there was only one sea turtle who could help her, Harry Hawksbill. Meanwhile, Harry Hawksbill was swimming nearby in the Caribbean Sea, one of his favorite places. Harry went up to the surface to breathe air because turtles cannot breathe underwater like fish. And when Harry looked down, he saw his turtle friend, Harriet Hawksbill. You can see the map where turtles are swimming around. They swim a long way. Harry dived down to the bottom and swam over to see Harriet. Hi Harriet, haven't seen you in a long time, what's new? Not much, but my friend Gracie Green Turtle is looking for you. She's trying to find a beach where she can make a nest to lay her eggs. Really? I can help her. I know where there are some great beaches. I'll go and find her. I hope he can help her. She needs to lay her eggs. Harry saw his buddy, Willie Rass, a tiny blue and yellow fish. Willie, I'm looking for Gracie Green Turtle. Have you seen her? Sorry, Harry. I haven't seen Gracie in a couple of years. Hmm. Amanda, a scuba diving friend, swam by. Hi, Amanda. I haven't seen you in a long time. 
Have you seen Gracie Green Turtle? Try the other side of the ha island, Harry. I saw Gracie there yesterday. Okay, thanks. See you later. Sometimes scuba divers can swim down and see sea turtles. I would love to do that. That would be really cool. Finally, Harry found Gracie. Gracie, I've been looking for you. When Gracie saw Harry, she swam to meet him. Harry, it's great to see you again. Can you help me? I need to find a good beach so I can make a nest. I hope he can help her. I know just the spot, Gracie. A place called Hilton Head Island where people prepare the beaches for sea turtles. It's a long way, but just follow me. Harry and Gracie swam off together to Hilton Head Island hundreds of miles away. Sea turtles might travel more than a thousand miles to reach the beast beach where they will nest. You can see the map where they were going to get to Hilton Head. It was a long trip and Gracie was tired. She spotted a giant leathery barrel sponge and decided it looked like a comfortable place to rest. And sponges are actually animals, not plants. And they live under the water, but they kind of hold still more like, more like a, a plant does. That's why some people think they're plants. When they finally reached Hilton Head Island, Harry found a beautiful clean beach for Gracie. It was flat and free of sargassum weed and garbage. You know why it was so clean? Because volunteers from Hilton Head Island prepare the beaches each nesting season. They clean them all up and make sure they're ready for the turtles to lay their eggs. Wow, that's great that people do that. On the beach next to a seashell, Gracie saw a hat someone had lost. The image of a sea turtle was on the hat, but it was from one of the volunteers. To Gracie, it was a sign she was meant to lay her eggs here. I will be making my nest on this beach, she said. I'll come back tonight. You see the sea turtle on the hat? I bet that person will come back and get it. Sea turtles come up to the beach after sunset to lay their eggs when it's cooler and the beach is deserted. That means there's not really anyone there. Under the bright moonlight, Gracie crawled up onto the beach. Oh, this is hard work. In the water, I'm weightless, but on land, I sure feel heavy. Fully grown sea turtles can weigh over 350 pounds. Wow, that is really big. They can get pretty big. Gracie finally found a good spot to make her nest. Now I can start digging. Using her back flippers, her hind flippers, Gracie began digging a deep hole about three feet deep. She was digging it. And when the nest was finished, she had laid 100 eggs, and each egg was the size of a ping pong ball. Gracie used her front flippers to cover the nest with sand to hide the eggs from animals such as raccoons, dogs, coyotes, birds, and crabs. And in some countries, people even dig up turtle eggs and eat them. There, I don't think anyone will find my nest now. In the dark, Gracie dragged her heavy body slowly back into the ocean. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't wait to get back into the water. I'm almost there. She swam away in the moonlit sea, never to see her baby turtles hatch. I hope my eggs will be safe. That's the turtle way. The next morning, all that was left were Gracie's tracks on the beach from the sea and back again. Almost two months later, 
Gracie's baby turtles hatched. They dug their way out from the nest under the sand. Do you see them digging out? Wow. There's a lot of baby sea turtles digging their way out. Whoa, and race to the sea. Look at them go. Oh, they look like they're going super fast. Where they were home at last. And over the years, Gracie's baby sea turtles grew into beautiful adult sea turtles, just like this one. Females, the girls, will swim in the ocean for 25 to 40 years until they're all grown up and then like Gracie, they'll return to the beach where they were born to lay their eggs. And did you know that the boy sea turtles will never come back on land again? The males stay in the ocean their whole lives, swimming around all their lives. Wow, pretty interesting. Oh, it's a message from Harry Hawksbill. I hope you enjoyed reading about my adventure with Gracie Green Turtle. Remember, you can help us by keeping the beaches clean. Please don't leave garbage on a beach. If you see any plastic, pick it up so a sea turtle like me won't eat it by mistake and get sick. Thanks for reading, and I'll see you soon on another Harry Hawksbill adventure. Oh, well, there are other books about Harry Hawksbill. That's pretty cool. That was a great book. A fun activity to do at home is to draw a turtle and then decorate it. If you take a look at the shape of a turtle, you'll just need a piece of paper and a marker or a dark colored crayon. If you take a look at the turtle's shape, it has a round kind of oval shaped shell. So that will be the first thing we'll draw. So we'll take our marker or our crayon and just draw an oval shaped shell, just like that. Okay, and then a turtle has a head that's attached. So we'll just draw a head for a turtle, just like that. And then if you look at a turtle, it has two front flippers and two back flippers. So we'll draw those next. We'll draw a front flipper here on this side and another front flipper on the other side. So two front flippers and then two back flippers, one on each side, just like that. And then a turtle has a little little tail right at the back. It's kind of hard to see the little tail, but it's just a little tiny pointy tail. And then a face. So we'll draw the turtle's mouth and eyes. Just like that. And then it looks like your turtle is just swimming in the ocean. And if you want to get very decorative, you can decorate the shell of the turtle. And then after you do all of your decorating, you can paint it or color it with markers or crayons, whatever supplies you have at home. So it's just a fun activity to do. The shell has kind of sections on it. So you just kind of draw little sections like that. Just draw little sections so you can see my turtle has little sections. And that's all there is to it. And then your turtle can be swimming in the ocean and you can have your turtle help people remember not to litter and to take care of our ocean and use less plastic. And grown-ups, you can find details about this activity at our Learning at Home page on wqln.org. And remember, keep reading, keep learning, and keep watching WQLN PBS, where learning is brought to life. See you next time.